Hey guys, I'm back today with another video. This one is going to be brought to you by the company AF Sister Wig. And this unit that I will be showing you guys today is their 13 by 6 curly frontal unit. This one does also have that nice skin melt lace, but this unit comes with your two combs on the side, a comb in the back, your adjustable straps, and it also comes with an elastic band. Ahead and wash my unit using my Aussie Moist shampoo and conditioner. I also did go in and lightly bleach the knots because the knots were very small on this unit. This unit also comes with a pre plucked hairline. Y'all, look at this hairline. And I didn't do anything to it. I did not do any extra plucking. It just looks that good. And then, of course, I want to show you guys how much parting space you get with this unit. So you don't have to just worry about focusing in the middle. You can definitely park this unit on the side. Now, this unit has some really nice lace. It is very thin. It is a very delicate lace. As you guys can see, like it's just blending in right away without me having to do anything. And I am going to be using my Olive Oil Fix It Hole Spray to adhere my lace down. But guys, you want to be really careful with this lace because it is so thin. The last thing that you want to do is rip it or put any holes in it. As you guys can see, the hairline is looking really natural. I also love that the front of this hairline, the density on this is not high at all. So it's going to be very easy for you to get this unit to lay down the way that you want it to lay down. For this style, I am just going to do like a messy flip over. I did not want to worry about defining a part so much just because I wanted to focus on how natural the hairline looks. I'm going to take my spray bottle and spray around the hair and just make sure to get it nice and moisturized so that I can go ahead and add my product. And for today, I am going to be using my Aussie Miracle Curls. This is a leave-in detangling milk. I didn't want to put something so heavy in the hair. I wanted it to be very lightweight, easy to maneuver around. Um, and the curls did still have a little pop to them. They just weren't as defined as if I wanted to use mousse or something. And I also did not drench the hair. Of course, all of the products that I am using in today's video can be found down below in the description area. I was happy with how the hair looked I went ahead and lightly diffused it off camera and I did not diffuse it a hundred percent to where it was fully dry but like just enough to still give me the wet look and right here I'm just going in with my sleek and shine serum and going throughout the hair and lightly fluffing this is going to help protect it against any frizziness and flyaways and right here I am just adding a little bit of baby hairs. I didn't want to do too much because too much just wasn't needed. You guys are seeing me use my spoolie for my lashes just because I wanted them to come out looking wispy and very natural looking and I feel like it got the job done. I'm also going to go around and put a little bit of powder and that was just to kind of dull the shine from the spray. Now the density and the length on this is great. This is 16 inches, which I think is perfect for every day. The curls are very lightweight and of course the hairline is on point. Now I did go ahead and do a quick messy half up half down look for you guys to see how natural the hairline looks also. So make sure you stay tuned after this to hear my final thoughts. Done styling this unit and guys, it came out so cute. It was very easy for me to style. I gave you two options so you guys can see how natural this hairline is. Now, of course, the curls on this unit are really pretty, but the star of this show has to go to the lace on 
this unit. The lace on this is bomb.com because your girl did not go in and pluck any hairline at all. You don't have to do that. It is already done for you. They're stating this is the invisible lace and it's super thin and yes, they aren't lying. Like, I took some pictures in front of the window and y'all, the lace on this is, it's just bomb. Like, I don't have anything negative to say about this. A little bit of my olive oil spray to lay the lace out in the front. I only use a little bit just because of how thin the lace is and because it blended in so well to my skin I did have to use my hand and go around the hairline just to make sure nothing was rolling up because I was missing a few pieces because it just blended in so well but I ended up fixing those areas where it was like that and I had no issues with it blending down. Now I did use a little bit of my Taylor Crowns Caramel Lace Tint and I only sprayed one coat one so i really didn't have to go in with any powder and with that tint it just made it blend in even more to my skin tone but i feel like if you just added powder you would be fine also because i mean it just goes into the skin it just goes it's like it belongs there density on this hairline is a plus two because it is not thick so I didn't even really have to use my hot comb to lay the frontal area down like I went around it like that one time and I didn't even need it anymore because it wasn't nothing to really do to it because it lays so flat the curls on this unit I did define it using um, this Aussie Moist Miracle Curls I've been using this for a little bit and I like to use this when I do not want my curls to be weighed down super defined very heavy that just kind of gives it a lightweight look and that's what I love about it. Um, does it define as much as like my olive oil? To me it doesn't like the mousse, but I feel like it gives it another look if you don't want a super defined look, but you still want the texture to be noticeable. With this texture you get kind of like these waves and then some curls. Of course, depending on what you define it with, if you wanted to use a wide tooth comb or a defining brush, it's going to give you a different outcome. The density on this, I don't feel like the density on this is too much. Even when I have the hair all down, it's very lightweight, easy for you to wear for every day. However, I did get some snags in the nape area and you want to make sure to moisturize this hair really good because it can come off very dry. I didn't even have to use my diffuser long once I put the product in because it started to dry down very quick. It gets some light shedding with this unit, especially as I was adding the product in and running it through with my hands. However, I did have to go in on the side by my ear and cut down some of that lace that was overlapping my ear and I wanted the lace to fit me just right. Now, you could put all this hair up if you wanted to, but once I laid that lace down, I was not going to mess with my ear tabs. I did not want them to pop up at all. So I ended up just grabbing some hair and just putting it to a ponytail. This ponytail is not neat. It is not perfect, but I wanted you guys to see how easy it is for you to switch styles with this unit. I did not have to go in with a brush. I used my uh, red tail comb just to kind of comb out the front a little bit. I did not have to go in with my heating tools to lay this down. I just grabbed up some hair and put it into a ponytail. But yes, you do get a good amount of parting space. However, I really didn't want to focus on the parting space for this video because I want you guys to see how natural it would look if you just decided to rock it as like a flip over or if you wanted to put all this hair up and now you guys see how good it looks like. From on video, it looks good. And then the pictures that I took on camera in front of my window, it looks really, really good. I mean, this is going to photograph well. This is one of those type of wigs and lace that you want, especially if you are going to attend like a wedding, you know, if there is something that's going to have a lot of photography in it, this is going to photograph very well. Lace is very delicate, so you do want to be really careful with it or you can risk the chance of tearing it up. So do not be rough with it. Make sure you are careful with your rat tail comb so you don't poke any holes. And that guys, I really don't have too much to say about 
this unit it definitely speaks for itself i'm giving you all of the hairline realness i'm giving it to you but let me know which style you like the best do you like this style right here i thought this was very playful or do you like the flip over method if you are interested in this unit i'm gonna make sure to leave all the links down below guys don't forget to subscribe to my channel turn those notifications on share and like this video and i will see you guys next time bye guys